Hi, Greg with Gree here. Wanted to show you the proper startup procedure to the new GMV6 Ultra. The predecessor, the GMV5 Ultra, you didn't have to put it through a debug process. This machine you do. So as you will see on the display here, it's saying 01, then AO, and it goes back to 01, goes to AO. It's not an error code, it's just that you're ready for debug. Now, so before you put it through debug, I would recommend you go inside. If it's got a display right on the wall mount, it'll say AO. If it's a ducted unit or a cassette, then it's gonna say AO on the wired controller. Any of those machines that don't say AO, you don't wanna start debug yet, let's go ahead and maybe check power, make sure the thing's got 230 volts to it because all the GMV indoor units are 230 volt powered. We don't have any 115 volt powered ones. And you may need to go back and double check your D1 and D2 communication wiring to make sure that we don't have you know, a loose connection or we missed hooking up ahead or whatever it may be. Because all of those indoor units should say AO. Once you've got that, you're gonna find the four red buttons. You've got SW1, SW2, SW3, SW4, top to bottom. So SW3 is your confirm button. So if you just press and hold that, for about five seconds. I always say at least 10. Then you let go and it should automatically start. See, it says O2AD. And it's just gonna do its own thing here. O2AD, O3, OC, O1, O3. That means step three, one outdoor unit, that's what that means. We might have to hit confirm on this one. So if that's the case, SW3 one time, and it should go further on. 04, I guess since it's 04, it just says, says 04, because normally what they would say was 04, 04, 04, 04, which means step four, four indoor units. But I guess because it's the same, it's not bouncing. But I know I have four indoor units, so I can just go ahead and hit SW3 one time and confirm it, and it should move on. Yep, step five, step six, and you just gotta let it do its thing. There it goes, going to 07. So now it's in step seven. If there's something wrong, it'll stop debug and give you an error code. 08UO, what that means is this machine requires an eight hour compressor warm up. This been powered for at least two hours or so. We do allow you to override that with rules. So if it's 50 degrees or above, it's one hour. If it's 32 to 50, it's two hours. 14 to 32, it's four hours. Below 14 degrees, it's the full eight hours. And we wanna go by the temperature that has been the coldest in the last 24 hours. So. You know, if it got down to zero at night, the night before, and you're going to start that thing up the very next morning and it's 40 degrees, we need to go by that zero degree temperature. That's what we mean by that. As long as we've reached our warm up period, you just hit SW3 one time, that'll override it, and it should move on. There it goes, went to step nine. So now it's in step 10. So at step 10, it's gonna start the compressor for a minute, it's gonna start the fans for a minute, it's probably gonna cycle the indoors a little bit. It's doing its own checks. It's making sure you open the service valves. This machine's smart enough that if you didn't open those service valves, you're gonna get an error code. This whole process only lasts about two minutes. And then once it's done, then it'll move into step 11. Now, the other thing it does too is it auto addresses. Same with the GMV5. So that's something to be mindful of once you commission a unit and they've addressed themselves, check with that homeowner and make sure that the, whatever unit that was designated the master is the unit you want to be the master. It's gonna pick one of those indoor units as master. So master determines mode. So if you have the master in heat, that means that none of the other units are gonna be allowed to be able to put in cool mode is what I'm getting at. So it may be important for the homeowner to understand that and know which one's their master so they know which one that is gonna give them their mode control from season to season and stuff like that. It can be changed in the wire controller, it's a parameter setting, and then on the remote, we also have instructions for that as well. So it's, it's step 12 AE, 15 AC. 
So when it hits 15 AC, it's either going to hit 15 AC or it's going to hit 16 AH. You have no choice. It does it by the ambient temperature. And what the machine's going to do now is it is going to start this thing up and run in cooling mode and do its whole debug process. And that takes about 50 minutes. I always tell guys on the phone, go get a donut and come back in about an hour. Because right now you just need to let it do its thing. It'll run its whole debug process. When it's done, it'll come, you'll come back to the machine. It'll say OF, meaning off. And all of your indoor units will say off as well. And then you're good to go. Then you can just set it to heat or cool, whichever season you need to put it into, and let it run. So while it's running the debug, especially if it's running the debug and cooling, you can add your additional charge at that time. A couple other things I want to point out. Don't worry about putting liquid in that low side because you've got two accumulators in this unit. Even if you dump liquid in low side, when it goes to start up, it's got to get through those accumulators before it would slug the compressor. So you're good to go. Just dump your charge in both high and low side and then you can isolate your tank off like I've got mine isolated off because whatever's left in my hose is I'm going to bleed into the machine. That's it. We're going to let it do its thing now and I guess we'll button it all up after it's ran for 50 minutes. So I hope this helps you out and with Green, we're always by your side.